What's up, we find you back today with another video, and today I will be going over the basics of Echoes. First off, I'd like to say thank you all so much for the support on the infographic. I didn't think it would actually do that good or anything. I was just messing around and trying to make something helpful. So I, I'm so happy that everyone likes it, and I'll hopefully update it soon with some more stuff. And maybe get some other ones out as well for everyone. And yeah, that's it for that. So let's hop straight into the video. This is the fourth time of me recording this because I do not like how I'm explaining everything because I just want to make it simple because it's not too complicated. It's pretty simple, the echoes. I just want to make a good video for everyone. So if you head over here to the echo page on your wayfinder, down the bottom left, there'll be a little tutorial that kind of gives you a brief description of everything. And it kind of explains everything a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and use this for the echo types. You got five different echo types. You got the attack, which grants offensive stats, of course. You got the guard, defensive stats. Balance type, which grants offensive and defensive stats. The cross type, which gives you a large stat boost. And the rush type, which will give you special effects. It won't give you stats, but it will give you, like, as you can see right here, like a little... It, it's different per echo, but this one gives you, like, 25 chance when dodging a combat. Effect aggro up to four enemies and applies debuffs. But it's on a 20 second cooldown. It isn't like it happens constantly. Alright, so that's how every echo type works. So now, as you can see on this screen, everything in here has an echo type by the slot. So that means when you put an echo in that slot, if you match the echo type with the echo slot, it will half the cost of it. So the reason we want half the cost of everything is because we have an echo capacity. So that means you can only have so much capacity in that. Think of your hard drive or your SSD. If you have a 500 gigabyte hard drive, you can only put 500 gigabytes of storage inside of it. That's kind of like how the echo capacity and the echo cost works. Like if a game is 300 gigabytes, that means your next game will either have to be 200 gigabytes or less because you can't go over the 500 gigabyte capacity, you know? So that's how the echo, the echo capacity works. And the echoes are like the games. Each one costs so much space. So by reducing the cost, by matching your echo type, it really makes a difference. So here's an example. I got a guard type echo right here. It costs eight. That's because it's reduced by half. It's in the right slot. But over here, I have it in a balanced slot. So it's costing 16. It's the same echo, the same. It has one upgrade on both of them. So they're exactly the same, but it costs double the cost. So that's pretty much taking out this entire thing when if it was in the correct slot, it only takes up eight. And that goes for anything else as well. If something costed 200 echo capacity, if you put it in the right slot, it would cost 100. Now I believe every wayfinder in every weapon will have the same echo type slots as everyone else's. It's not random. And I'm, I'm saying that as every, like every Kairos will have the same echo type slots, not every wayfinder in the game. Every Kairos will be matched together the same way every Sinja will have the same echo type slots and so on and so forth, same with weapons. But the accessories, they're randomly rolled. So I know all these have balance types on them right now. Yes, it's because of the ones I have on, but you can get the same accessory multiple times and each one will have a different um, echo slot. So if you've ever played Destiny where you farm weapons to get different rolls, it's kind of like that. You just keep farming that until you get the nice, the, the right echo slots you want on it to be able to increase your power level the way you want to. Now you can increase your echo capacity on your wayfinder and your weapons by leveling them up. Obviously, like when they level one, you don't have much echo capacity. I think you have like eight or 16 on a wayfinder, maybe. I can't remember exactly on my Kairos, but now that I have him up to level 14, I'm up to 84 capacity. And as I level him up, the capacity will increase with him. So let's go ahead and click on one of these slots so we can go into the actual echo page to show you all my echoes. So as you can see, every echo will have a cost, it will have a type, and it will have a level. The higher the level will kind of increase the power rating that you get from it. So you kind of always want to like use a high, let me go ahead and sort this by power. You kind of always want to use a high level um, echo instead of like a level two. Cause I know we have some like, you, you might have some purple ones that are low levels, but they kind of give decent stats. A level 20, 24, 23 would obviously be better than a level 5, of course. And while you're in this area, I like to sort mine by power. You can sort it by name, all that stuff. I like to sort mine by power. And then up here, you can also sort it by the specific types. 
So let's say, all right, so right here, I need a guard type slot. So we're going to click on that. It's kind of laggy. The echo slots, it's, it's really bad right now. Um, so we need a guard type. So we're going to go ahead and click up here, guard type. And then I'm going to sort it by power so I can get the best ones. Oh, I didn't mean to click that. It's, it's a little buggy right now, but I think you get my point. Just, you just want to match the slots and you can specifically look at the only guard types or the only balance types and all that. Let's see if I can sort it now. Okay, so we're sorting it by power. This is what I like to do. I like to sort everything by power and then choose from one of the top ones, whichever one I like. Um, so let's just go ahead and click this one for a chance. Bam. Go ahead and click that, put that on. And now we have a guard type. It normally costs 80, but since I'm matching it with the type slot, it costs 40 and I have room for it. So that's nice. And of course, having a higher rarity echo will increase your stats, right? So this Bone Breaker echo right here, it's 88 cost and it's an epic rarity. But then you got the green version and also the common version. They're both 88 cost as well, but you get more stats with the purple one. So obviously when you get the chance to have a higher rarity echo, put that one on instead. And you can upgrade higher rarity echoes a lot further. Each one of these stars over here to the left is how many times you can upgrade it. So the common ones you can upgrade by four, the uncommon you can upgrade by six, and the epic you can upgrade by 10. And of course the rare you can upgrade by eight. All right, so now let's move on to actually upgrading your echoes. So right now you can tell that this echo costs 40 capacity. Now I have it zoomed in and everything. So now let's go ahead and go to the upgrade menu, right clicking with mouse and keyboard. I don't know what the button is for a controller, but it's called the echo fusion. So now that we're here, you can tell on the right side this is the current stats. The capacity costs 40, power level 49. That's how much power level we get from it. And the physical defense, the stat that we get from it as well. And when we upgrade it, this is all the stats that it's going to be. You know, it'll go up to 960 and the capacity and the power level won't change. But if we upgrade it multiple times, everything's going to change a little bit. So if you go ahead and click one of these plus signs, it will pop up every echo you own. So now it will show you the XP. That's how much XP it will give you per each one of these echoes you put in. Some are low level, that's why they give less. And of course, if you match that same echo that you're upgrading, it will give you a little bit more than like a, it normally would. So we need 774 to upgrade to the next one. We're just going to throw some of the stuff in here. We throw that in there, that, that, I don't know. I don't think any of these echoes are anything great. So we're going to go ahead and get this upgraded. We put a lot of XP in there right there. And we're going to go ahead and click Fuse Echoes, and we're going to see how that done it. Alright, so we upgraded a good few times there, almost to the max. The physical defense stat went up, the capacity cost did go up, and the power level of course went up. I think it was 49 for the power level before, so it went up by 11, so we got a little bit more. And the capacity cost did go up because we got a bunch more stats, but it's worth it in the end. And that's pretty much it on the basics of Echoes. You pretty much is always want to match the echo type with the echo slot. And you can increase your capacity on your weapons wayfinder by leveling them up. And you can farm drops to get the specific echo types that you want on accessories. Hopefully I didn't make that too confusing. Like I said, this was the fourth time I'm recording this. I just wanted to make a good video for you all that isn't confusing and that's easily to understand. If you have any questions, drop them down in the comments below. I will try my best to answer it. And if I can't answer it, maybe someone else will be able to. And yeah, that's it for the video, everyone. Thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful day.